Are you tired of going to multiple Trello boards to see what you need to work on? I'm going to show you today how you can use workspace views to get everything you need in one place. First, a quick shout out to our sponsor, Email for Trello by Sendboard. It's a great power up that turns your board into a shared inbox. More on them in a minute. Let's dive into workspace views. So first of all, these views are called workspace views, and they basically combine cards from different boards into one view for you here. They can be filtered with the same filters you're used to seeing on the boards with due dates, members, lists, labels. You can search for keywords. Um, but again, it just combines everything from multiple boards. So. To find these views, you're going to press this caret icon. You can also use the uh, keyboard shortcut with the brackets to open up this menu right here. And you're going to see these sections for workspace views. So you can click the plus button uh, to create a new one. You can give it a name, specify if you want table or calendar. Um, and when you create it, it is going to save it to the sidebar here. So you can see I've already got some uh, pre-filled ones in here. The only two types of views available are table and calendar. Table views make your board turn into like a spreadsheet. So imagine being able to view all of your cards, but instead of lists, they're just rows. And you can see by card, lists, labels, etc. Super great if you're if you're missing your spreadsheets. Calendar does the same vibe, but puts it in a calendar instead of a spreadsheet. And so if you're used to this on a board view, well, this actually combines cards from multiple boards. And so it's a great way to be able to see what I need to work on and what's happening where across all of my boards. So it's a great way to combine what I need to do this week from personal stuff to side projects to content I'm making to chores I need to do to even where I'm camping and, and staying and stuff. So it's a great way to combine it all. Important to note that checklist items do not appear here. That's only something that appears on board calendar views. So if you're a heavy user of checklist items, you will not be able to aggregate checklist items that are due across multiple boards here. So that's one limitation. More on these views in a second. But first, I want to thank Email for Trello by Sendboard for sponsoring this video. I love using Email for Trello because it's a great way to combine all of my uh, tasks that I need to do with email with being able to still actually respond to those people for emails. So for instance, I can open a card and get all of the benefits of treating that email just like a task by assigning people, adding labels, adding a checklist of things that I need to do for it, while still being able to actually engage with it like an email. So I can click this view emails button and I can, you know, reply just like I was sitting in Gmail. I can even access saved replies. I can even use automation with comments to be able to automatically send emails based on if I add a label or move it to a certain list or a a certain amount of uh, time has passed. So I definitely recommend checking them out if you have any sort of shared inbox or if your conversations just tend to have tasks associated with them like a lot of mine do. So I will include a link for you to check them out in the description of the video. And now let's chat a little bit more about workspace views. So a couple bonus things I want to mention that you can do with these workspace views that makes them really cool. Uh, first of all, you can customize and save as a new view. So, you know, I've got all of these filters here that I can do all sorts of things. Maybe I only want to see cards that are assigned to me that are, you know, have a specific label. Like maybe rather than seeing everything across a board, I want to see like what is waiting on me or something like that. I can choose whatever filters I want and then click save as new view. And I can go up here and give it a name. So Brits custom view. And I can make this private so only I can see it or I can make it workspace visible so everybody in my workspace can see it and access this data if they need to. I can delete the view if I decide I don't need it anymore. So that's super helpful. Uh, you can also bookmark this URL. So you don't have to, you know, once I've made a view, I don't have to remember to open up this carrot and go over here and click the view. I can just save this URL and then add it as a bookmark and go straight there. We'll go to this view every single time. Uh, the other thing I like with the tables, uh, you can't sort every list, but you can um, sort by due date. And so let's say I want to, I want to see what I need to work on this week, but I also want to view it in a table. Well, you can sort by due date and that's going to, you know, help. I, did, I always get to setting and ascending backwards. Uh, that can help you see what's actually coming up next and what you need to do across these different boards so you can keep everything uh, top of mind there. One other thing about calendar view, you can actually drag things around. So let's say I actually wanted to make this due on this day. Well, I can drag it over and you will see that it's updated that due date to actually be on the 22nd, the day that I dragged it to. So so that's pretty handy and a great way for sort of reorganizing your schedule as you need to. Question I get asked a lot, this is a Trello premium feature. If I want these workspace views, I'm going to have to pay $10 a month, upgrade my workspace to premium. Is it worth it? 
maybe, maybe not. Here's an easy way to think through it. First of all, if you're working out of a lot of boards and wanting to combine all those cards into one view, then you're probably getting close to coming up on that 10 board limit, which the free plan has. You can only have 10 boards per workspace. So if you're already working out of multiple boards and want to combine them, you might want to go ahead and upgrade anyways, just because you're eventually going to hit those 10 boards. Other perks of upgrading, aside from these workspace views, you're going to actually get some really cool views inside of your boards as well. I got another video about that, all about how you can use map and timeline and these, these table and calendar views just for a specific board as well. So that's going to be a really nice perk you'll get to it. And another thing worth noting, you don't have to upgrade everyone in all of your boards to be able to get access to these features. So I'll include a link to a video where we explain more about how Trello pricing works, but effectively you can upgrade just yourself as a member of your workspace and then still invite people to these boards and they can enjoy these views without you having to pay for them. So again, Trello only charges you for workspace members and people on multiple boards in your workspace. So if you want to make, you know, 100 boards and you want to invite people to individual boards, but nobody needs to be on more than one board, then you can pay $10 a month to have these views across, you know, all of your different boards and combine things from those different boards while still just paying $10 a month while collaborating with all of these different people. So again, check the video for a description, uh, check the video description for more details. I'm gonna include links to all of these things that I mentioned uh, for you to try out these views, uh, try out email for Trello, and also understand, wrap your mind around how this pricing works to see if it's worth upgrading for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.